going on everybody? It's Ward and I kidnapped the camera again to take you on another set of movie filming locations filmed right here in the Prescott area. And if this background tells you anything, it's going to be a good one. Okay, for those of you who love scary movies, probably remember a little movie called Creepshow 2. And for those who don't, Creepshow 2 was a scary movie from 1987 that consisted of three short, scary stories, if you will. Two of which took place right here in the Prescott area. The first one being right behind me, titled Old Chief Woodenhead. And this is the general store where the totem Old Chief Woodenhead sat. So, let's go check out the general store. Okay, so when the camera was actually shooting the front of the store and uh, Ray, the shopkeeper, was uh, painting Old Chief Woodenhead, which is right over here, um, and when Ray and Martha were sitting out here, they were sitting in front of this porch, but when they looked out, they were looking out the dirt road, which was shot actually across the street over on Iron King Road. Uh, so we're going to go check that out next, but all the shots this way and the interior actually took place here. So, But uh, let's go look at the other angle of uh, Dead River. After leaving the general store, I headed across the highway to Iron King Road. After heading down the dirt road, I found the location where the gas station set was, which is now a lumber yard and parts storage yard. Okay, so after the gang kills the shopkeepers and takes the jewels and escapes, they go to one of the gang members' houses. His name's Andy Cavanaugh. Um, they go to his house to hide out, and the house that they shot at, um, the exterior and the interior, is actually located right here in Prescott off of Iron Springs Road, which is actually close to uh, Granite Basin Lake, um, which we're going to check out later. So, uh, But uh, let's go check out Andy Cavanaugh's house. After the gang kills the store owners and steals the tribal jewels, Old Chief Woodenhead comes alive and hunts down the gang before returning the jewels to the tribe and then returning to his place in front of the general store. Okay, let's talk about story number two, which was called The Raft. Now, The Raft was filmed right here at Granite Basin Lake in Prescott and probably scared a lot of people growing up in the 80s from swimming in lakes. The Raft is about four kids who are driving down Iron Springs Road smoking the devil's lettuce and decide to go swimming in the nearby lake. Upon swimming out to the raft in the middle of the lake, they discover the lake is the home to a strange oil monster who kills them one by one, proving once and for all that smoking and swimming is a bad idea. The, they swam all the way out here and the raft was about right here. I figured since Creepshow 2 is broken down into three separate stories that I'd do a third one for you. But the third one's actually tied to the last video I did, so make sure you go check that one out. So, last one we talked about The Getaway with Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger, which was filmed a lot in Prescott, a lot of downtown Prescott. They had a big shootout down there. Anyways, somebody in the last video asked me to show more filming locations of The Getaway, um, so yeah, let's go check that out. Okay, here I am at the corner of Sheldon Street and Cortez over here by downtown. This is actually where the shootout kind of started. Uh, the police officer was standing right here with the uh, train depot in the background uh, while Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger were over in the gun store, which was Bucky O'Neill's, which is now Grey Dog Music.
Okay, now we're at the corner of Goodwin and Granite Street at the business complex, which is actually where Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger uh, stashed the car at the end of the shootout, whether they went all around downtown Prescott. Um, they stashed the car here, which is in this parking lot of this business complex. Um, we're across the street from Park Plaza Deli and right behind um, El Gato Azul restaurants. So uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's check this out where they pulled in and stashed the car. Okay, so after they stashed the car, you saw them walk off screen um, and they ended up going and hiding in the trash can, which is actually on the other side of downtown. Um, it's an alley behind Cortez Street um, where they kind of came down from the, the art center um, and hid in the trash can there. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Really, really appreciate it. If you found it fun, interesting, helpful at all, I don't know, go down below, like, comment, definitely subscribe, helps me out, and you get notified anytime a new video kicks out. So uh, I guess until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Just checking. You never know. Should I tell him? <laughs>